Hey y'all, what's up? Today I'm gonna be sharing a book subscription box. Let's open this together and talk all about Lit League. That's really hard to say. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, before we go any further, head on down and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kayla. I'm a second generation homeschool mom to two girls who are currently in second grade and kindergarten. And we are a secular homeschooling family. I love to share what's going on in our homeschool and also reviews and resources with you guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button and turn notifications on so that you can follow along. And if you're on Instagram, I would love to connect with you over there as well. All right, so today, we are going to be looking at a book subscription box. Let me just cover my address here. This is the Lit League book subscription box. And just full disclosure, I was gifted this item in exchange for my honest review. I have not looked at this book subscription box yet at all. So this is new to both of us, most likely. So first of all, Lit League is a book club for kids. They offer subscriptions where you can sign up and get a book box each month. They also offer specialty boxes that you can purchase one time. And they also have free resources on their website like printables and seasonal activities. So definitely make sure you check out their website. They might offer something that will be really valuable for you and your homeschool. I will link it below in the description box. So if you were to sign up for a monthly subscription box from Lit League, they do offer three different options for you. They have the Picture Book Club, the Early Chapter Book Club, and the Chapter Book Club. Another good thing to know is no matter which age option you choose, you can also decide how many kids are gonna be using this box. So you can add up to four siblings to each box subscription, which means that you're making this something your whole family can enjoy. So that is really unique and special about Litly. Okay, so when I open up my box here, I get this nice letter and it is telling me that this is a sibling box for two learners, which is perfect because that is how many I happen to have. And then there's also a nice page talking more about the company itself. They have won the 2021 National Parenting Product Award as well as the 2021 Family Choice Award. They talk about their picture book subscription, which is designed for kids three to nine. Their early chapter book subscription box is designed for ages five to nine, and then their chapter book subscription box is designed for ages eight to 12. It says that each box includes book-specific vocabulary bookmarks, four to five fun-filled and enriching activities directly related to the book, discussion questions and answers aligned with grade-appropriate common core standards, the tools to enjoy a shared family experience or to participate in a book club with friends. Oh, how fun would that be if you started like a little homeschool co-op book club? This could be perfect for that. All right, very cool. I'm super excited now to see what is in here. So we're gonna open it up. Ooh, okay. So right off the bat, we have like some crown things and of course there's two of them for two kiddos and then we have another page outlining what's in the box and we have a page showing some of the books that they are working on so these are like upcoming picture books chapter books and early chapter books that they will be featuring in their boxes soon and then we have these little guys so cute okay so foxes we're, we have something going on with foxes. And of course, there's two of these. Okay, and then we have a bag with some glue sticks, googly eyes, and pom-poms. Oh boy. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, we have another bag with some very watery paint. I wonder if this is watercolor paint. It's 
very watery and it's like orange and red shades of orange and red and then we have two of these dropper things I'm assuming this is for the very liquidy paint or maybe it's dye okay here is our beautiful picture book Fletcher and the falling leaves this is so perfect for this time of year. And it just so happens, this is a book I've actually been wanting to get to add to our autumn picture book collection and I don't have it yet. So that's super exciting. Okay, we have a bunch of coffee filters that are flattened out. So I'm sure we're gonna be doing a craft with those. And then we have our guide for this particular box. So it says Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. So the activities in this box are going to be making leaf sun catchers, leaf and face symmetry, leaf identification, and fox art and poetry with some suggestions for each of those. Okay, the other thing that we have in here is some very pretty paper leaves that are already cut out like these are really cool and that would be a major pain to try to cut out yourself so I appreciate that they did the work for me of cutting these shapes out they have a whole bunch of these leaves cut out for us so here's that vocabulary bookmark, and it has some words that are from our picture book, Fletcher and the Falling Leaves. So it has bounded, den, swishing, fluttered, and whirled. And then it has very quick and simple definitions for each of those words. It also has a list of high frequency words from the picture book. And then on the other side, those are your comprehension and discussion questions. I love scripted discussion questions in our language arts, so definitely we'll be using that. Okay, so the last things in here are some more papers. Let's see what these are all about. Okay, so we have a whole page of more discussion questions, and this is super fun. It says to cut out the questions onto just strips of paper, Mix them up in a jar or bowl and then take turns pulling strips from the container to discuss the questions. So that is another really fun activity that's very engaging. And then it offers the adult, the parent, or the teacher sort of some ideas of what the answers to those questions could be. So that if your kiddo is having trouble answering any of the discussion questions, you have kind of a guide of where you're leading them to, what answers you are kind of looking for. So that's super helpful. We have a list of physical playtime activities. So there's a guide for a forest animal scavenger hunt, a foxtail tag game, and forest animal charades. And it gives you instructions for all of those activities. I love that. I mean, we're getting some physical movement involved in a book subscription box. That is fantastic. Okay, the next thing is we have our paper activities, and these are printed on a much thicker cardstock than the like instruction papers, which are just on printer paper. So that's really nice that they thought about the quality of your paper cutouts. This is the Suncatcher cutout, it has instructions. And of course, we have two copies for two learners. And then also on cardstock, we have two copies of a leaf identification chart. It has some information about each of the trees that have these leaves. And we have another page on leaf symmetry. So on this side, we have half of a leaf where your child or your student can try to mimic the other side and make those leaves symmetrical. And then on the back of that same page, we have a more advanced activity where your kiddo can try to draw the other half of this fox's face. And again, we have two copies of those activities. They've also included four copies. I wonder if we were only supposed to get two, I'm not sure. Um, but these are also on really nice cardstock, 
And this is like a leaf scavenger hunt activity, it looks like. So how many different types of leaves can you find on your nature walk? And it has a whole bunch of leaves here illustrated and named for you to look for. And then the very last thing is we have some poetry. And again, we have two copies of this. This is a crazy amount of stuff. I'm actually surprised at how much they packed into this box. It is very cross-curricular. I mean, learning about symmetry, that's kind of like a mathematical concept. We have a little bit of like science nature study type stuff with the leaf identification. And then we have some arts and crafts, some physical activities. Like this is really very extensive. This little pamphlet gives you an overview of everything that's included in the box. And what I really appreciate about it is they give you a bio of the author and illustrator of the picture book. And then they have an overview of all the activities. They also give you an outline of the order that you might want to do things in. So it has pre-reading activities, which are basically two different sets of discussion questions depending on the age groups of your kiddos. So for this box, for ages three to five, the question is, what happens during the season of fall? So that's kind of like your introductory question before you read the story or do any of the hands-on activities. And then for ages five to nine, it says, try to remember something that made you worry. What was it? And what did you do to try to make it better? So again, we're getting them thinking about the themes of the story before we even read it. I love that. And then the other pre-reading activity is to go over the high-frequency words and the new vocabulary on your included vocabulary bookmark. Then it says, read the story, go over the vocabulary again, and then after you read the story, go over the discussion questions, and then you can decide what activities you want to do in what order. What's really fun about the Fox Art and Poetry page is it's encouraging you to use the orange tissue paper that everything was sort of wrapped in in the box and shred it up and glue it to this fox outline. So you're kind of coloring the fox orange, but with tissue paper. How fun is that? Another one of the activities in here is called Build Your Own Din, which is something that my kids actually already do pretty often but it offers instructions on like making a din out of pillows and blankets in your home. It also says when you make your din, you can pretend that this little stuffed fox is your baby and you're the mama fox taking care of your baby in your din or the papa fox. But how cute is that? So all of these activities are totally optional, but I really appreciate that it's giving you so many different ideas for how to use the supplies they've included. And obviously, if your kids or you think of something more creative to do with the supplies, you can go for that as well. But I just love that they have really covered so many different bases this is very cross-curricular, like they are really including lots of stuff all packed around one book. That is super fun. That seems right up our alley for how we like to do things in our homeschool. So I'm super excited to try this out. In fact, I think that I'm going to actually turn the camera around. I'm going to read this book with my kiddos and we're going to do one of these activities. to do more than one of the included activities because we were just having such a good time and my girls kept asking to do more so we did it 
Um, we really enjoyed all of the activities that we covered. We also really enjoyed the discussion and comprehension questions around the picture book, which by the way, if you haven't seen Fletcher and the Falling Leaves, I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful book. The illustrations are gorgeous. The story is so sweet and heartwarming and relatable. And my girls loved all of the activities that we did in this box. We just had the best time. And there's still a lot more that we will have to do on a different day. So all in all, a huge success. y'all i really hope that you enjoyed taking a look at this lit league subscription box with me definitely go check out their website below if this looks like something fun for your homeschool you can sign up for three months six months nine months or more or you can just buy one box and try it out thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video Bye bye